Hi friends, uh, welcome to Tech Like Video Tutorials. This session, I am going to explain about user event triggers. There are two triggers, that is a log on and log off triggers. So previous sessions we have covered on DML triggers, DDL triggers and uh, instead of triggers. So this user event triggers is mainly a DBA responsibility. Like if they want to track all uh, users log on and log off timings, when they log on and when they log off. Okay, this type of information if they want to track for auditing perspective, they can use this user event trigger. So we have a two tr uh, triggers here, log on and log off and the timing here that is after log on, before log off, after log on and before log off. So before log off it will fire, after log on also it will fire. So here I have created sample table to track uh, user event log information that is a login user and the, uh, when the, you can say login date or you can say the record creation date then system event it may be log on or it may be log off so the syntax here is the same as uh, normal uh, triggers create or replace trigger trigger name after log on after log on on database or schema you can use on database or schema so database means entire database will be applicable whenever the uh, uh, available users say they are trying to log in this trigger will fire and it will insert the record into this event log table that is a user and uh, it will insert the date and uh, event type that event type is log on so manually also you can hard code the values here in this table okay let's create the table table has been created then create the trigger see here as I told after logon, if you try to create before logon, the trigger is not supported actually. Why? Because the event can fire after logon only, not before logon. That's why it is saying that you can see an attempt was made to create a trigger that fires before logon. This type of trigger is not supported. So after logon, you can create before logon. So it is compiled now. Same thing. Another trigger I am going to create after log off. So same thing here. Before log off trigger won't support here. That is after log off. Sorry, after log off won't be supporting here. You have to create before log off trigger. Same table I am uh, inserting the log in this table. Let's create the trigger. Okay. So here I have a table here. As of now there is no data in this log table. If I try to connect one schema, start I have connected. Then verify the log here. Scott user date and the logout that event type. Same thing I am connecting another user called the tdev. Let's verify that. See another record has been inserted tdev logon. If I disconnect my Scott user, I am disconnecting the tdev as well. So both I have disconnected. Let's see the two records has been inserted or not. Now you can see Scott and TDEV both log off records are available. So like this we can track all in users log on and log off timings for auditing purpose. Okay, like this we can track all users log on and log off timings for auditing purpose in your project. So you can create after log on and before log off records to track user event information user event information means when they are creating like a, when they are logging and when they are logging off like this we can go for using this user event trigger so thank you for watching my videos please subscribe my channel to get more videos and updates my channel thank you very much